Hi, welcome back to my channel. My last video I showed you my Misfit Market haul. So now I want to show you what I actually do with all these produce. Let's get started. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm okay, so first up is my vegan crab cakes. And I actually didn't show you how I cooked this because the recipe is always in the description. So definitely check that out. Download that so you'll have that. And um, yeah, lemons want to do what they want to do, I guess. Whatever. Still delicious. Next up is my avocado, and I will not bore you with the song, but the song is a bopper, you understand. So here are the ingredients. And I'll be honest, I think those are grape tomatoes, but cherry grape tomatoes, whatever. I don't know. You let me know in the comments. So these tomatoes are going in the oven for 400. They've been seasoned with olive oil, salt, and pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder. About 20 minutes on those. And I have my water boiling. I'm gonna season it with some salt. And if you stay tuned, I will show you how I add even more flavor to my noodles. <laughs> Can't wait to share that with you. So I'm adding in my um, fettuccine noodles. Totally feel free to do whatever type of noodle you like to do. Um, I've done a variety of, but this is just happens to be my favorite. I feel like the sauce really sits well on these fettuccine noodles. And you could totally use a gluten-free option. Okay, so now I'm preparing my avocados. I saw this really interesting trick on TikTok of how to get the pit out. Just squeeze. And now I'm pissed that it actually worked. All these years. All right, whatever, let's move on. Let's make our sauce. So I use about two ripe avocados. And if you're wondering how, you know, maybe your avocados that you purchased they're not so ripe. Put them in a brown bag for a day or two. Check on them, bad boys. And then they should be nice and ripe. Okay, two avocados are going in. Juice of half a lemon. I have half lemons everywhere in the house, like for my tea. So I always have a half a lemon ready. Okay, now I'm gonna hit it with some salt and pepper. And then I usually use walnuts when I make this recipe, but I didn't have any walnuts. So I actually, those are Brazilian nuts going in, but Brazilian nuts is kind of high. So I try to like half and half it with, with about a fourth of a cup of nuts. Um, I would recommend, well, maybe not even four, yeah, probably about a fourth of a cup, not too much, like a handful. So I add a little water in to soften and make this, Sauce, nice and creamy. But then y'all, I forgot to add in the crushed red pepper flake and the garlic. And I couldn't use like, you know, a garlic clove. So I had to use garlic powder because we're smooth at this time. We don't want no crunchy, you know, crunchy sauce with the little garlic pieces. No, no, no. So then I pulsed it a little bit more and um, about ready to go. All right, guys. Let me show you this trick for the noodles. So you'll wanna add some uh, oil. I use avocado oil because I'm meta and it's avocado on avocado. And then I swirled it around with the crushed red peppers to add some spice and some heat to my noodles. <sighs> Brilliant, I know. And I think it kinda helps the sauce kinda stick on there. But if you guys are anti-oil, then you can totally skip this part. So now I just added my sauce and I'm just giving it a nice stir to incorporate it before I add the tomatoes. All right, here goes my tomatoes. Now, um, pre-vegan days, I would uh, also add you know, bacon to it, but some vegan bacon would be amazing. Or some like nuts, like pepitas or something like that, that would be awesome too. But I just don't do that. But totally hook it up for yourself. Mm -hmm. However you like it. And please let me know in the comments if you make this. This is literally my favorite recipe. I probably eat it two or three times a month. It's so delicious and creamy. Here's the final product. And particularly with the uh, Brazilian nuts, it was real creamy. 
so I like that addition. Lastly, I have my buffalo stuffed mushrooms. I'm gonna just keep it a buck. Here are the ingredients. I like stuffing mushrooms with stuff. So what I stuffed it with is usually what I make my um, buffalo bites with. So right now I'm just preparing that mixture. Garlic, cooked quinoa, white beans, and those white beans are not out of a can, so I tend to add a little bit more salt to them. Those are the ones I made in my Instapot, and they need salt like, you know, I need Jesus, so I eat, yeah. So that's about two cups of the beans. And honestly, if you just wanted the buffalo bite, you could just stop there and make these bad boys into patties and bake them, but I do. So I'm adding some, you know, seasonings to it, salt and pepper and garlic powder and mushroom powder which i know is counterproductive okay so i started with a fourth of a cup of buffalo sauce but that didn't hit the spot so then i bumped it up to a half a cup and i baked these 375 for about 20 minutes and i served it with a wonderful salad and topped it with some walnuts i had walnuts that day Frivol crunch all right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.